Hi guys, uh, as you can probably tell, I just got up and uh, I didn't want to go into all that uh, video production and everything. I just wanted to give you a quick review of uh, Chapter 6, Ashwagandha. And it's like uh, gummy based, as you can see probably. Um, I see a lot of videos uh, on YouTube uh, regarding Ashwagandha. But uh, what's unique about this channel is that I uh, talk about uh, effects of things and you know uh, what I follow in my fitness regime is uh, it's triple health basically. Uh, there are three components of health and uh, uh, they all come together to give you a holistic experience and uh, these three components are sleep uh, water and food intake and uh, how they correspond to our health as uh, sleep is uh, how uh, you feel uh, inside your body which is really important and uh, water is how you are uh, in your pleasure business and food is basically uh, when you have a balanced diet how you look, uh, you know, physically, and you know how others see you. So these are the three uh, major areas that uh, you know I uh, keep in perspective uh, while you know trying anything, whether it's a supplement, whether it is a fitness regime, whether it is a diet uh, pattern. So uh, starting with uh, this chapter six, it was sent to me for review so thank you to them uh, but it's uh, not paid uh, advertising uh, per se ashwagandha as you know is a herb from india and uh, something in relation to horses and uh, uh, but i do believe a lot in absorption and there are so many studies and uh, scientific data out there and uh, it is valid but uh, what I want to say is that uh, uh, all these empirical and quantitative uh, aspects of uh, studies is uh, evolving because we know only so much about uh, human anatomy. The science is in progress. And also, uh, uh, you know, these, uh, the effects of these stimulants uh, are still ongoing and uh, you know uh, again uh, we, the studies are evolving uh, but what's not what is constant actually is our body the human body is a great uh, way uh, to ascertain uh, what uh, impact these supplements or anything at all has on us so ashwagandha uh, i think it's a herb so uh, not herb I, I call it herb and uh, it's great uh, it uh, de-stresses you it gives you a very smooth uh, sleep contrary to zma zma uh, which uh, you know uh, gives you uh, gives me actually uh, maybe I don't, uh, the, you know, the my hormones or the biochemistry in my body does not require ZMA as there is sufficient, uh, you know, uh, presence of chemicals in my body. Uh, so contrary to ZMA, I, I found this really, really good uh, to a point where I do not need any other supplement. Uh, and I have also decreased the intake of my whey protein. Uh, optimum goals whey protein I used to take two spoons before once in a day uh, with water and I used to drink actually yeah and uh, now I just uh, feel like I need only one spoon and also I I take uh, uh, amino acids by optimum every other day and also uh, I take uh, uh, fish oil omega 3 omega 6 by optimum every other day so every day I take just one 
supplement and uh, uh, and I feel all right uh, in the context that uh, I believe that normal health and balanced diet and relaxed sleep and lots of water and fluids are really good for you, you know, overall for your overall health what I have felt and observed while taking ashwagandha is again uh, nice sleep de-stresses you and also uh, when I'm not taking it along other any other supplement uh, it uh, improves my endurance as well it's much like uh, when I took creatine back in the day uh, which I don't anymore because of you know uh, its effects on kidney and you know it uh, you pee it out uh, with passage of time um, so uh, I th and also I found ashwagandha give make you a man of steel uh, over there uh, as you may understand and uh, contrary to the myth I don't know whether it's a myth or not it might work for some people ZMA uh, when you have zinc magnesium in your body you become metallic fan of metallica and uh, uh, so I felt the same uh, effect with the ashwagandha and uh, I take it uh, an hour or two before going to bed um, and it tastes nice it's like a sweetie sort of a little bit uh, you know uh, bitter but uh, to uh, a level where it doesn't bother you any much any uh, um, much so i think uh, i'm going to continue it uh, but uh, one thing that i would always recommend which i'm also feeling with ashwagandha is that uh, never take anything every day uh, take it alternate whether it's even it's in fitness uh, style try to alternate so that you know the absorption level is there and effects and you continue to shock your body so uh, I will probably decrease its intake uh, from every night because I don't then feel like having uh, uh, the optimum supplement uh, and uh, fish oil of uh, optimum and and uh, Mm, uh, amino acids because I found uh, found uh, optimum supplements to be very uh, smooth on my body uh, just like it's whey protein safe and uh, so I'm gonna uh, you know take uh, take uh, those supplements along uh, with ashwagandha but those supplements I take in the day mostly and before uh, sometimes food or maybe sometimes after before workout or after workout I just keep on uh, switching it so that my body does not get immune to it or adopt to it and uh, that's all about I want to share um, it, it also lifts your mood uh, a lot you become less cranky because your energy reservoir is more so I really recommend it and I this is kosher uh, you know uh, gummies so if you are into uh, kosher and uh, if you want to remain safe and have subtle supplements I think this is a good choice and uh, if you have uh, used it and if you have any other observations uh, because for me my body is the only barometer and uh, the only scale through which I judge anything how I feel how my body or anatomy respond to it uh, besides all the scientific data and studies which I totally understand and endorse uh, but how it works on me based on my genetic history and based on uh, my nutritional uh, pref preferences um, I don't smoke I don't drink uh, so actually, occasionally I do drink uh, but in very minimal quantities so uh, I think uh, most of the times I feel the impact of them these supplements or other things quite directly because there are no buffer zones uh, in context of I also don't drink coffee uh, 
usually the English tea in the morning. So that's that. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, then we'll carry on the conversation and then I'll share other aspects uh, of uh, holistic health uh, because oh, it's all about uh, uh, in the bed and on the bed and uh, out there in, in the world. Uh, and besides, of course, how you feel is the most important element. Uh, don't feel don't look exhausted don't feel exhausted uh, and just enjoy life have a good time talk to you soon